Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give some love messages for the zodiac sign of Cancer. Welcome Cancers and Cross Watchers. If you're new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you're one of my returning viewers, watchers, or subscribers, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. I'm wishing you all blessings and infinite joy and abundance. Okay, so if you don't know, I'm a life coach and tarot card reader and yes, I am available for sessions and readings. Please read the description box below for my email. That's how you would get in contact with me. I do take donations and um, that's through Cash App and PayPal. The PayPal link should be below. You can copy and paste for Cash App. I am not big on signs, so my focus is on you, Cancer. And when it comes to genders, please take messages how they resonate. Never force them. And just know when it comes to genders, it's all about energy when it is involved with tarot or oracle cards. With regards to reversals, I don't read them. But I do notice them in the future. I, I'm sure I will read them in the near future, but not with the decks that I have now. I'm not inclined to do so. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment if you're interested in doing that. I would really appreciate that. And I um, really do read the comments. And thank you so much for the positive messages and energy. Okay, so this is a message for you, Cancer. This is a love message. And I just want you to know this is for people who really want love right now, who are open to it. But I have to read the cards as they, you know, come out. And of course, I've already peeked at three of your cards. I'm using four decks today. So I've already picked, um, well, I've already shuffled. And these are the threes that came out and based off the four decks that I picked. And then the Sibylla deck is the deck I'll shuffle in front of you and the message will come out. Because I think some of us still like to see shuffling and hear it. And I know I do. But it just saves me time when I already pre-shuffle. And of course, everything has been prayed upon and meditated upon. Okay. So if you don't want love, that's okay. Uh, I've said this in all my other videos. Focus on self-love. Focus on getting closer with God. Focus on like creating something new, learning something new, um, doing some research about something, helping somebody else. Do something positive with your time and always stay close to God and meditate. That's always going to be important. Call your family and friends and wish them a good day or check on the elderly or something like that. Do something positive with your time. And so that you can keep growing and prospering and doing good things for your soul. Feed your soul. Okay, Cancer, let's start your reading. So from the Sibylla... Sibylla. I'm starting with the Romance Angel. Sorry, I'll do the Sibylla last. So from the Romance Angel deck, and this is a very popular deck, you have the Deception card. It says someone is wearing a false mask, a false self mask in this relationship. This could be read in a few different ways. So either you're not expressing your love to someone... Or you're in a relationship you don't want to be in. And this could be your person too. This could be a romantic interest. It could be both of you. Take it how it resonates for your situation, but never force. I feel like somebody else has your heart cancer. But you keep... I feel like you keep running after like small dalliances. So these are like short-lived romances or just in and out flighty energy cancer. You need to know what you want so that you can attract what you want and not push it away. You don't want to push away a soulmate or a twin flame or a chance for a real love and romance because either you have to gain courage to say what's in your heart and be vulnerable you know, with love, you have to be vulnerable. All of us do. And it's not easy to have these kind of conversations. But if you want something that's true and that's real, you have to be in that energy for it. You have to be open for it. So it's time to be honest with yourself and have that conversation with yourself and God and your angels about what you truly desire because you may miss out on something great focusing on the wrong thing or not expressing yourself honestly and truthfully. So if you want a total and real commitment and connection that could lead to a life partnership, a marriage, uh, something very solid and stable and very loving, you are going to have to take off that mask and hold out your heart. From the Lover's Oracle deck, which is such a beautiful deck to me. I love this deck and the shape. Cancer, you have Surrender. So your message says, at times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. You have to let go of what no longer serves your highest good or highest purpose. You have to let go of fake love or just 
some encounters you have to let go of that nonsense if you really want a stable long-term relationship and only you can decide what you want and what's best for you we co-create with spirit and they want to give us what we want and what makes us happy so you are really going to have to figure out what that is so that you can accept it you're going to have to surrender the old before you get the new so if you want better you have to put yourself in energy and raise your vibration of wanting better so that you can receive it because I feel like it's here and it's coming. So for some of you, it's already here for others. It's coming. But if you don't want that real love to walk away or you don't want the love that's coming in to feel like, okay, you're not ready for this. Let me go find somebody else who will. You need to surrender your old habits and trade them in and say, I'm done with that. You need to trade them in for the new habits and the better you, you have to show the best of you. Because that's what your person is going to desire and want. They don't want your shadow side. They want the side of you that is divine. You need to be that divine masculine, that soulmate. You need to be what you want. Because a divine feminine or your partner, whoever comes in for you, that person deserves loyalty. They deserve respect. They deserve the truth. They deserve you giving them the love that they really want and need. You can't be halfway in and halfway out or sometimes and sometimes not. You have to make a decision and follow through with it. So it's time to surrender, Cancer. It's time to sit down with yourself and it's time to be honest with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want? And if you still, you know, want little quick romances, that's fine. That's it's your life. You're entitled. But if you want a serious relationship that can actually last the test of time, you are going to have to raise your vibration of respect of your, like I said, your loyalty, your commitments have to be real to have this total connection to have somebody that's, that's healthy. And I, I mean, relationship wise, this is somebody who has a, a solid mind, who makes good decisions, who compromises, who's willing to work with you and build. So you have to decide what that looks like for you and what you want your life to be, especially where you are in your life. You need to check yourself and say, this is where I am. Am I happy here? Is this enough? Am I good here? And if you are, cool. But if you're not, you need to implement changes and make them now. From the Earth Magic deck, Cancer, you have Island Solitude. So like I said, you have to go within. You need to take some time to just grow and flourish. And uh, this is a process that really can't be rushed. This is your time to grow. This is your time to evolve and elevate. And you do that with spirit. So you definitely need to meditate and pray and talk to God and your angels and your team. And you really need to listen to your intuition. You know, we, we have free will to do what we want to do. And sometimes in life we have to really grow up and it's time to just do what we're supposed to do. Because you can have a balance of your wants and your needs. Somebody's living in their shadow side of just getting what they want. They're blocking out their needs. And although it's a quick fix, it is not fulfilling. You know, we can all go to fast food real quick and grab a snack and it gets us through lunch till we get to dinner. But when we get to dinner, we want that whole shebang. We want the whole plate and then some. We might want some seconds and thirds. And if it's something that's hearty, we're going to sleep better and feel better. So if you want something real, it's time for you to be real too. So no more hiding, no more running. None of this deception. You can't have that. And you can't have that from your partner. This is going to take adults being mature. Not running. But like having conversations that are deep and heartfelt. These are heart-to-heart -heart conversations. It starts with you and God. You have to be honest with yourself first. Because you shouldn't be asking anybody for anything that you can't deliver. You know, asking somebody to be all in when you're not, it's not fair. So asking somebody to just love you, love you, love you. Well, do you love them? How are you showing it? Are you consistent? Are you available? Do you make time for them? Are they a priority? So you need to ask yourself these questions and be honest. What do you want? What makes you happy and what does that look like? What does your dream life look like? It can be achieved. It's up to you. Let's get some messages from the Sibylla deck. For the sign of cancer, please, spirit. 
Give me a message. I'm only asking for one, but as many as you think possible. Whatever's best. As many as you think is best, spirit. Okay, for the sign of cancer, please, spirit. Let me have a message, a love message for cancer. For cancer. Okay, something flip. See this? So, you have contrariety, displeasure. So, cancer, I feel like you're not happy in, in the situation that you're in now. You have a sincere friend or close friends around you who may be guiding you to the right person. They're giving you some good advice or something may stand out to you. Please listen to them. The number seven as an angel number may be something you want to look up. It could be important to you, Cancer. And um, I feel like luck is on your side, but you have to allow it in. You can't push it away and you can't run. Contrariety and displeasure is there's somebody you're not happy with. This is somebody you may be in a dispute or disagreement or argument with. There's something you don't agree with. And it could be in like a romantic relationship. It feels like you're not on the same page with somebody or you don't share the same core values. Okay. But I see you moving towards what would be the nine of pentacles. So you need to show gratitude to God, to Jesus, your angels, your spirit guides for everything that you have for the good relationships. And you need to see the difference between what's okay, good and great. You should be at a place where you want greatness and happiness and peace. You need somebody on a high level and stop telling yourself that this person is better off without you or that you're not good enough. You need to say some affirmations that lift you up and give you encouragement and empowerment. Stand in your courage, cancer. You have this in you and you're a very emotional person. When you love, you love for real, but you can't run from that love if that's how you feel. You're going to have to be vulnerable. Even if this person says yes or no, you need to know where you stand so that you can have this closure. You know, closure is important for a lot of people. But people forget that they can give themselves that closure. But I feel like there's questions here you have for someone. A lot of them are for yourself. But you have questions for somebody. You need to ask. It's time to start asking and having those conversations. You cannot run from this. Because when you do ask, I see support here. There's comfort in knowing. And I say that a lot, a lot. When you know better, you should do better. But also when you know better, there's comfort in knowing where you stand and what's available to you. Because if not, then just keep proceeding to move forward. Because I feel like you're close to your happiness when it comes to love. But I don't think you're in, for a lot of you, I don't still, I don't see you in the right situation right now. You know, listen to God. Always go to God first for that confirmation. And just remember, outcomes can change. People can change. And since we do co-create with spirit, you can talk to God and implement actions. And remember, actions and choices change outcomes. So things can be rearranged and changed. It can go in your favor. If you want a relationship you're in to work, it can. But you're going to have to put in the work and the effort and you definitely need to go and go into um solitude and seclusion to feel like to find that feeling of what's best for you you need to feel it you know sometimes god let us hear it sometimes he lets you feel it so you need to pay attention to all your signs and just appreciate really good relationships any good friendships or anybody who's good to you do not push them away you need to be good to them even if let's just say you want something that's more romantic and this person is not there yet or they're not interested in you that way what you need to do, Cancer, is at least be their friend if you can handle it. Because this person may be, I feel like there's somebody around you who's really sincere and smart. This person is an intellect. So this intellectual, you don't want to lose these types of people. They have your back for real. They're telling you what's right even when other people won't. Like, good people are hard to find. We can find people all day, every day. But good people and excellent people are not the ones to lose. So you need to focus on what you can afford to lose. And when I say afford, I don't mean money-wise. I mean soul-wise. Who do you really need around you? Who takes you to the next level? Who's a benefit to your life? You need to ask yourself this. Many questions. Many questions linger. But anyway, show your gratitude to God for anybody who shows you love and respect. And um, anybody who is just always in opposition of you they never see your way or they like to argue that's not what you need 
You need somebody who can agree to disagree respectfully. And you have to offer that same energy. It's called maturity. It's time to grow. I feel like commitment and a gift will come in when you elevate. You have to elevate. Go within and then elevate. Okay, Cancer, this has been your reading. I hope it resonates with you. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I really want to hear um, some information or just um, your stories that connect to this uh, reading. I wish you joy and infinite abundance and happiness. Keep smiling, Cancer. Keep loving yourself and always stay close to God. Bye, Cancer.